What's up you guys and welcome back to my channel. For those that are new here, hi, my name is Rochelle and I like to make thrifting and fashion videos along with a little bit of beauty and just sharing my life with you guys over here on my little corner of the internet. For today, I am obviously in a new setting. I am currently in Los Angeles, California at my Airbnb if things look a little bit different in the background. Since I am on vacation, I figured I would just do a bikini haul to show you guys everything that I ended up picking out. The Airbnb I'm at has a beautiful pool, so I was really excited to just get some new swimwear for 2020 and I picked out six different items. I do have a coupon code for you guys. I will put it right here on the screen, but it is just D1 Spear and I'm pretty sure that's for 15% off of your order. I have never tried bikinis from Shein, but I've definitely seen these videos like on YouTube and I feel like some of them go really, really well and then some of them I'm just kind of like, oh, okay. So I'm really curious and I definitely will tell you guys everything that I think about these bikinis, the good, the bad, the ugly, what I liked, what I didn't like. I have six here, so let's get right on into the first one. So I will say like usually in tops i need something that's a little bit more covering but is still small which is hard to find with any company it's very hard for me to find the right top for bikinis so i'll say that ahead of time and then on the bottom i usually wear a size small i have absolutely no booty at all i have zero booty so i always get a small on the bottoms <laughs> i think i got two one pieces and then four bikini styles this first one is a one piece it is just this white and gray and black marbled one piece. I like to have a varying of different styles because depending on what I'm doing, I like to have like a more appropriate bathing suit or like if I'm just with my husband, I'll wear something a little bit more cheeky. If I'm on vacation, I'll wear something a little bit more risque. But when I'm like around family or I know I'm gonna eat a lot that day or something like that and I just don't wanna like be worried about my body, I like to wear one pieces. I really like marbling and just like marble everything. I know that's such like a basic white girl thing to like, but I don't know what it is about the marble print. I really think it's beautiful. So I was definitely naturally gravitating towards this one. The material does feel really, really nice and soft. It kind of has a round scoop neck. And then something I do like too is the back does kind of cover a little bit more of the cheeks it looks like. I'm not really big into like thong bikinis or like really cheeky bikinis since I don't have a booty. If I did have a booty, that would be a different story, but I don't have that much to show off. So I kind of like it when it covers a little bit more. This swimsuit was originally $13. I will say you guys, all of the bikinis on Shein are so affordable. Like I was blown away how cheap they are. I think that all of mine are from nine to thirteen dollars so i feel like there's not like unless you're gonna thrift a bathing suit you can't get much more affordable than that in my opinion so let's go ahead and try this guy on and i'll let you guys know my thoughts all right you guys here is swimsuit number one the marble one piece i really like it it definitely feels like very comfortable to wear and i also really feel like it looks pretty cute this would even be cute as like a bodysuit with like a pair of black jeans over it i would almost wear this out now that I've put it on, the only thing I will note is that I know that it doesn't have any padding on the boob area. So if I get cold, you might be able to see my nipples through the top. That is the only thing I actually don't like about this bikini. Everything else I do like. Here is the back side. This one is good. I definitely would recommend it. I feel like it's very family appropriate, kid appropriate, comfortable. I really like the style. This one is definitely approved by me. All right, you guys, this next one is also another one piece. I think that this one might be my favorite one of the haul. I just really love it. You guys won't be surprised when you see it. It is a gingham swimsuit. You guys know I've been really into gingham ever since like, I would say spring of this year. I think it's adorable, but what I really like about this swimsuit is the little cutout in the center. So it feels almost like you're wearing a two piece, but you're not. And it feels a little bit more like you're showing off a little more skin, but like not that much, you know what I mean? I feel like it's just a very cute style. I also really like that little tie in the front there. This one I would say is a little bit more like cheeky on the bum area, but something about this style is just so cute cute to me. I just really love it. This one was $11. I definitely think that this one is worth $11. It's so cute. So let's show you guys what this one looks like on. 
Here is the gingham bikini. Like I said, I think that this one is my favorite. I just love the print. I love the little tie in the front there and the cutout, but it's still really high-waisted, so I feel like nice and secure in my tummy area. It does come up a little bit higher than my belly button ring for reference. I don't know why, I just love this one so much. I think it's really, really cute. There is the back cutout. I probably wouldn't wear this one to do some like extreme sports in. This is more of like a lounging bikini, but I do really, really like it. I think this one is adorable. There is the gingham. Now for the two pieces. This first one is a little bit sporty, which I really like. Here is the top. It is black. I like all high-waisted bikinis. I feel like that's like an area of my body that I like to kind of conceal a little bit more. So all of these I'm pretty sure are high-waisted on the bottoms. But this is the top. It's just a little bit sporty looking. It's kind of like almost like one of those like racer back t-shirt kind of style tops and it has the zipper down the front. The model in the photo was wearing this with it unzipped which I thought was really, really cute, but I also like it zipped up all the way. Here are the bottoms. They are just really basic black high-waisted bottoms right here. I feel very basic, and something I always love about getting black bikinis, because I own so many black bikinis, I feel like I can switch them out with each other. So like if I love these bottoms, I'll just wear like a different top and it looks like a whole different bikini. I have lots of black bikinis, so I feel like it's just a staple. This one was a total of $13. Look at the model wearing it. See how she has it like unzipped a little bit? Very cute. Here is the more sporty black bikini. Right now I have it all the way zipped up and then the high-waisted bottoms. I feel like this is a bikini that's just like really practical but also very cute. And then if you wanna zip it down, like the model had it. I also really like it like that. Still very comfortable with it like zipped down and it feels like it will stay in place. It doesn't feel like it's gonna fall all the way down. I really do like the like more sporty look of this one. It does have like the more razor back on the top. Very cute and comfortable. All right, you guys, for the fourth bikini, I decided to pick up a white one. I don't think I own a white bikini, so I was really excited to get one. Again, this one is high-waisted. The bottoms look like this. This one is a little bit more cheeky and doesn't cover the bum quite as much as the other ones, but maybe I'll wear this like on vacation when I'm in Las Vegas or something like that. These ones are very basic. There's not much to them. They're just plain on the front and back. I love the white, though. It makes me look a little bit more tan than I am because... It's very hard for me to get a tan, but I feel like when you wear a white bikini, it makes you look darker than you are. And then here is the top. The top is really, really cute. It just kind of has this like ruching all on the bottom around the elastic part. And then it kind of has a little bit thicker of arm straps, which I really like just to help keep everything supported. This one was really adorable. The only thing I'll note while just like lightly looking at it, I don't know if you guys can tell, but the little like boob pads on the inside look really kind of thin. And I'm curious to see what it's like when it's wet because it actually doesn't look like super thick. And the last thing you want on a white bikini is for it to get wet and then for it to be see-through. So I'm really hoping that those little tiny pads cover everything in case this is a little bit more transparent. I would hope not. I would hope it's thick enough that you can't see right through it. This white bikini was $12, so not too bad. And I do really like the bottoms, even if I do end up switching out the top for maybe a different white bikini. I feel like it would be very easy to find another top. This one is so cute if I had a different body. <laughs> <laughs> this would definitely fit someone else a lot better. I think that it's just I'm too heavy chested in the top so it just kind of like it doesn't fit really well. I have too much side boob going on there and in the front it's just kind of like it's just too much but this would be really cute if you add kind of like medium sized boobies. Um, I also would note that I can see that little lining is pretty thin right there. So that's the only thing I am still concerned that the lining, I don't know if it got wet. I don't wanna just be flashing everyone. The style is super cute how it's kind of like rouged on the bottom, like all the way around. It just doesn't fit my body properly and it's a little thin. So I don't know. This one's kind of like three out of five stars. The other ones I liked four out of five stars. This one's kind of like a two and a half to three out of five stars. It was a good try. So, eh, I don't know. 
This one I had really high hopes for. When I saw it, I just really liked the style. It is kind of like a muted red color or almost like a brick red. Again, high-waisted bottoms. These ones have a tiny bit more coverage on the booty than the white ones, but really high waist. I love the color, it's very pretty. I wouldn't normally get a red bikini, but this is kind of like a mauve or I don't know, what do you guys call that color? It's like a, it's like a muted brick red. It has that scrunching on the cup area. And then what I was excited for is this one has an underwire, which I love. It just helps support and keep everything up and lifted. And then it does kind of go down a little bit further, almost like a little like tank top or something, a tankini. I love that style. I think it is so cute and I think it's gonna look really great. This one was on sale for $9 when I ordered it. It was originally $14, but it's on sale for $9 while I am looking this up. Here is the brick red one. I'm a little bit bummed about this one because I had high hopes and I don't love it at all. I really like the bottoms. Like, like I said, every single one of the bottoms have been nice so far. And in theory, I thought this one was gonna be cute. I feel like this one makes my boobs kind of look like dumplings or like one of those Chinese food um, like pot stickers. It looks so weird like I thought it was gonna be more it doesn't I don't know it's like the ratio from like here to here is like it's like why does it make my boobs look like that like it looks so weird <laughs> no this one is just tell me those don't look like dumplings or like pot stickers Chinese Chinese food pot stickers <laughs> it's not good you guys I'm so sad because I was really excited about this one. This one is a no. Everett really liked this one. He thought the back was really pretty. So the top here looks like this. It has a little yellow like zipper in the front, in the center, um, but it's not quite as high as that other one. And then the back has like all these little straps. It almost looks like a sports bra to me. So yeah, very sporty. It says love forwards and backwards and then has a bunch of stars on it with that cute little like neon green detailing just by looking at it i don't know if this one's going to fit the top just because it is a little bit more for smaller chested girls i think so that'll be interesting when we try this one on and then here are the bottoms again just the cute little zipper there these ones are very very high waisted and definitely more cheeky they're almost like a thong i would say but then they come up with the high waist this one costs $12. Here is the yellow zippered one. I really like the style of this one and I'm actually surprised. This one definitely obviously has a lot of cleavage. I thought it was going to be worse than this and I wasn't even going to be able to show you guys the top. Um, I mean, <laughs> it's pretty small. I would definitely say to get this one if you're like medium chested and you like this style. The back is also so cute with those crisscrossy pieces. It feels like pretty secure with the back being like that. It almost does feel like it is a sports bra. I like four out of the six that I got, which is actually pretty good, I would say, especially for the price of the bikinis. Like, if you don't love it, at least it was only $10 and it wasn't much more. I feel like it was a pretty good haul. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. I definitely prefer the one pieces. Like, they're just more comfortable for me and I still feel like confident in them. Um, so yeah, I would say the two one pieces and the sportier top one are my favorite favorites. Let me know down below where you guys find your swimsuits. I'm always like a Target swimsuit kind of girl because they're affordable and I feel like they're really stinking cute. So I get a lot from Target. All right, you guys, I love you guys so, so much and I'll see you very soon.